Welcome to Ninja Moves, video tutorials that will enhance your flow and performance. Today we're going to be covering the single-handed mill, which looks like this. Uh, don't try this exercise at home if you haven't done the prep work. It's a great exercise to enhance your power and your mobility in shoulders. So that's the smooth flowing version of that exercise. Now, let me warn you, it did not start out that way. When I first picked up clubs, there was definitely a learning curve. So be uh, cautious that you want to make sure you understand the mobility components first. You can start with your small clubs. Start in a torch position with your club outstretched. Start with inside circles, uh, moving in full 360 degrees, finding shoulder pack at the end, and testing out that range. You can go um, inside and then eventually move into outside circles, moving away from the midline first finding that shoulder pack um, as you position your club directly over your shoulder. Aim for about five to 10, maybe even 15 on each arm, just finding that shoulder mobility. <clears throat> Once you've established that you have that shoulder mobility, you might choose to use a heavier club. This is a 15 pound club and do a two-handed mill. So a two-handed mill is built up of several components. First, the side swing. Then side swing to order with right hand on top if you're parking the club on your right side. And then from there, going into a shoulder um, cast, rotating the body, coming into guard position and swinging. So it's catching, shoulder casting, swinging. Now watch, I'm gonna do this from behind so you can see how the club sort of swivels in the back end. And that swivel is a combination of bringing your club up and over the shoulder as you rotate so that the momentum carries over to whip the club around so that you can come back around. Um, so once you've established those mobility exercises, practice with two hands on a heavier club. You might even be able to step it up to a slightly heavier club. So it might look like this. You can break the components apart, working the side swing, side swing to order, side swing order to shoulder cast, and eventually linking it all together, taking out the side swing. And if you want the full program for that, you can go to Scott Sonnen's King of Clubs. It's an excellent, excellent tutorial for building your skills progressively and incrementally. Thanks for tuning in to Ninja Moves. I'll see you next time. Hope you enjoy.